How's it going guys? Today we are going to learn a very amazing trick that you can use in your own games. What we are going to do is spawn a game object, a 2D game object through a fade in effect. So to begin, let's just create a new project which I have already created right here. Um, it, you don't have to import any assets from the asset store, we are just going to do it from scratch. So the first thing that you have to do is right click in the project panel and go to import new asset and get an image from your computer. For simplicity purposes, I'm just using this image. This is a basketball image, you, but you can use any image that you want. Uh, but make sure it's a JPG, PNG or the um, few famous formats because there are a few formats that won't work in your game. So the first thing that you have to do is while you have this selected, this image selected, go to the texture type bring in the dro drop down menu and select sprite 2d and ui after you have done that you don't have to worry about these just let them be default and then hit apply now once we have got this image we can use it in our game as a game object so whenever you drag this into your scene view you can see that it is e it can easily be spawned here so when you leave that you can see that it's seen in the game view and you can also place it anywhere you want even outside the camera but I'll just play it, place it in the center or hit transform to reset its position then I also thought of thought of adding a background to this game so right click in the hierarchy and go to 3d object and add a cube now what I'm going to do is set uh, reset its position and select the image and bring it behind no not behind in front of the 3d cube so once we've done that we can see that the 3d cube is behind this image and we can we can just resize it to make it look as a background so we have got ourselves a white background and a sprite image of a ball now we, what we will do is animate it so the first thing we will do is set its color alpha color to 0 then you can see it's gone completely gone so what we will do is uh, so while this basketball is selected we will go to the animation window which you can get from here window and then animation which is right here also you need to get this animator tab out which you can do from which which you can get from window and then animator but we won't be needing it right now once we've set everything up all we need to do is create an animation so while this basketball is selected go to create and select click it and just name your animation anything like fade in and hit enter and your fade in animation will be created right here now what we will do is start adding keyframes to this animation to add keyframes, first we will have to check this red button, just select it and this means that we want to add keyframes in this animation. So just move this white line to any of the seconds. I'm just going to move it to 0 0.4 seconds. So after I've reached 0 0.4 seconds, what I will do is go to the color and make the alpha value to 1 or 255 in this case now what 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 has happened what has happened that it has added a keyframe itself and a keyframe in the start so you can see that our object fades in it just uh, it is not visible at the first and then it just comes out with a cool fade in effect but that's not all that we want to do in this project we are also going to code some way to spawn it and then add the animation so how to do that is through a c-sharp code so what you have to do is create go to is right click in the project panel and go to create and then c-sharp script you can name it, name it anything i'm going to name it player controller 
after you have created the script just double click to it to open it up in visual studio once you have the project open in visual studio you will see this thing so just remove the using system collections and all that we don't need that right now and then remove these two methods which we do not need we're going to create them ourselves and now we will create a function or method that will cause that will spawn the object and animate it so let's just call it public void spawn spawn object or just object so I'm just going to get the instance of it public game object 2d well, image 2d so what we're going to do is instantiate image 2d in the new vector position 0 0f 0f and 0f and we're going to set the quaternion to the identity that means that we're going to set the default rotation and once we have added that I will create I will add it to a temp game object it's temp dot get component animator dot play and we're going to play the fade in animation now don't worry about these parameters just think that it's playing the fade in animation so once we've saved that we will go to unity once we've done this we are going to create a UI button which I can just right click in the hierarchy and go to UI and add a button which is right here I'm going to hit F on my keyboard to focus on it and then bring it on in the middle not in the middle at the top like that I'm just going to the game view so I can see where it is and I'm going to set the text to play animation save it and what I'm going to do is go to the button and add the on click events and what what we are going to do here is create a prefab of this basketball so just drag it in the project view and we have the prefab created now we're going to attach the script to our cube so we just drag it here and there you go it's it gets added and then we're going to drag this basketball prefab to this image 2d variable when we leave it here it's going to get attached to it it will spawn it whenever we call the play animation function in short whenever we click this button we need to import the cube and then add the player controller and hit spawn object and now if we hit play we can see that whenever we hit this button we see the object get spawned and keeps looping that animation we don't want that so select this fade in animation file with the play button and uncheck this loop time then save it again and run it again and you can see whenever you click on it it just spawns it and it will keep spawning objects as it as we click it so I've got one more thing to do that I will spawn it in the random positions so random dot range between 10f minus 10f and 10f so what it will do in r is randomly place it in the y position so it spawns it here and then spawns it down there and then here and randomly at different positions so well we can do one more thing make it randomly spawn even in the X so 
and when we play our animation now you can see it spawns here here at completely random positions which looks really good well you it's going out of the camera so you can s you cannot see it but you get the idea that it works so that is going to do it for this video in the next video i will probably come up with something good and you can also download my games the link will be in the description download my games and give me a, an honest feedback and i will surely appreciate that thank you and goodbye